Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Corporate Gamer Broadcast. I am your host, Corporate Gamer, and tonight we are continuing with Greedfall. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I, I, I streamed, so um, hope I'm not too rusty. Um, I don't remember where I was in the game, but we will go on this journey together. So let's, uh, let's get cracking here. Uh, please let me know if my volume of my mic is not too great. Um, I've been having problems with the drivers, and apparently it's a known problem. So just let me know if there's a lot of distortion or not. <clears throat> Hope that you guys have been having a good last few weeks. Um... In quarantine, looks like sports are going to be starting it up again very soon. So we're going to take it from there, probably with no fans. Although the MLS are looking at minimal fans, I think. My hockey team, which is the Montreal Canadiens, actually made the playoffs where they were. In traditional fashion, they weren't supposed to make it. They expanded the, the playoff teams. And we just barely made it. So, yeah. Marker, where am I going? Where am I going and where is my shit? Find out where St. Matthias went. Dangerous back stuck to Pritchard about his plan. This one I didn't finish. So we can try that. Um, okay, let's do this, I guess. I don't know why the marker is there. Captain. Um. Did I finish the missioners camp? I think I did. Yeah. Uh, let's do. Yeah, let's do a side quest. Find out where St. Matthias went. Too bad this is not a campsite. Is it? No. That sucks. I'm supposed to be poops. So why does it point me in this direction? That is weird. So I did this already. Where? Where were we going, Captain? Um, 
something there. There's a light there, so that means there's something that I, I can go... Where the fuck is this thing? It's... It's there. It's literally, like, right here. So how the fuck do I get there? Is this an opening? I don't think so. I'd have to go all around here to go here? No. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Let's fucking do that. Fuck it. Screw that. Yeah, so the reason why I had I couldn't stream for the last um, little while is because um, work has been really intense. Um, even though I'm working from home, it seems that it's worse than before. So, yeah. Um, and then, even if I'm working from home, at the end of the day, I'm just bushed. Like, I'm just dead. And I have no... No energy for anything. So. Uh, let's go see this man. I've literally done nothing for 10 minutes. Bravo for me. But I honestly have to admit that I missed it. I miss streaming. If I don't do it for a while, I know that my wife sometimes finds me um, that I'm, I'm streaming a little bit too much, even though I stream only four days a week and I only do a couple of hours. Um, I still feel as if... Um, I still miss it. Like, if I don't do it for a long period of time. Quesi! Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is an Ormanawi. Present yourself, and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Don Egad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual, but my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladnid? Are you not a Don Egad as well? It is true. But my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad, even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malako. I do not know this sickness, but perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering, and alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the alien touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy. But urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain. Even the most severely wounded. But Tiern... With all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. 
What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlands started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded. And recently, many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries. Perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Yes? Do you need my help with something around the village? I just have a few questions, that's all. I understand. Colonial presence. Tell me about the colonists. When did you meet them for the first time? Perhaps a dozen cycles ago. I had heard rumors, of course, before that. Some of the Eastern clans said that there were men coming from the sea who had made their home on their lands. They said that they built very tall houses and stole their children from them. I thought of it as nothing more than tales one tells by the fire of a night. Then one day, I saw them. They came into our village. They came with soldiers. They wanted to shake our minds, treated us as if we were children barely able to walk. I was told that they were not the same tribe as those found in the East, different as well from your people, but I see no difference. You are all Renaixe to our lands. And I do not trust any of you. With reason. The village. What can you tell me about your village? It is when Xavier, the village of living waters in our town. The wells and the rivers here flow with healing waters. All the island knows this. Our river banks are plentiful in plants, and the shores are full of shellfish that are used in healing potions. We are mostly fishermen and gatherers. We hunt little and have no warriors amongst us. Our village is a calm place in normal times, a place of peace. But since the coming of the Moin Shakers, Katasak. Can you tell me more about Katasak? The Tiern. He is the best healer on the island. A good and wise man. He is very concerned about the sick under his care. He gives them all his time and energy. Our village has always had the greatest healers. And my master is as good as any of the ancestors. I hope to be as good one day. And the Tenlands. I would like to hear more about the Tenlands. I'm in no better place to speak of these creatures. Before, I believed I understood them, but today, we simply took care to respect the place where they made their nests, so as not to disturb them. For like all of these creatures, they are part of the spirit of the island, a part of the balance. But all of a sudden, one day their numbers grew more and more, and they became angry and aggressive. The balance has been broken, but I do not know how. All right. I have to go. Quite a way All right, let's go. Where's the door? Oh. All right, so who do we 
ask for okay there's a skill point here okay skill altar there so there's a part that we can go this is a uh, what contracts all right Let's see if we can navigate this place a little bit more. Let's discover it a little bit more. So there's a traveling thing. There's a travel thing here. So technically, I can do that, but I don't want to. So let's continue straight till we hit the road. So we hit the road here. We can go up here. What did the fox say? What did the fox say? Why is there a marker here? But there is a fireplace around here. Apparently. but this is very useful. Now, what happens if we go up? So there's a thing there. I don't know if I can go there, but we'll try. So we'll go to the right. Is there a way of getting there? Yes, there is. essence. I don't know what that means, but it means something deep. Uh, that is not where I wanted to go. Um, that is not where I wanted to go. There's a contract. Oh. Well, 
since I'm here. Contract Enraged Dentrig. Merchants beware. One of these beasts that the natives call Dentrig is attacking everything that comes near the north of the river. Those who follow the path that gives access to Tear Daub through the natural dam must be especially prudent. Whoever kills this enraged beast will be offered a reward. Contract Neutralize the Thieving Scholar. A very disturbed man has been attacking travelers and caravans. He's dressed as one of the Alliance's so-called scholars and steals food from convoys. A reward will be offered to whoever puts an end to this madness. Uh, well, since I'm here, might as well talk to the missionaries, I guess. anything of the oh uh, yeah this was I don't know how to do this so which one is this anyways we'll, we'll do this good day I'm the legate of the congregation of merchants on this isle might I ask you a few questions of course our allies from the continent are always welcome among us what do you want to know ask them about the mission here could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden, where they might discover peace. In this protected paradise, they can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people. Speak of the Ten Lens attacking the village. Have you heard about the Tenlen attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given that name, but yes, we have heard talk about the attacks. We offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour. In exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks? On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. Ask them about the connection between the Tenlins and Demons. You seem to assert that the attacks of these Tenlins is somehow linked to the Demons on the Isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Denegad of this village wishes for you to depart. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. The Denegad of this village wishes for you to depart. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey okay. him? To leave? No, I guess. I must go. We're going to need to find some leverage if we want to force these missionaries to leave. Perhaps searching through their belongings will give us something we can use to put pressure on them. But I can't find... One more thing. Yes. I must go. OK. 
Okay, so I can't go by there. Can I go by this? Doesn't look like it. So I can't go in the village, apparently. But the, the door is right there. One more thing. Yes? I must go. Okay. Um. There's a path right over here, and I'm on here, and I believe I was here. So I would have to find a way, see this is a dead end, this is a dead end, and this is a dead end, so I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get over here. Hmm. Let's try some things and see where it goes. I need a bit of practice. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? I need fucking vigor. Level 21 and my level 19. Fuck. Well, that sucks. Means I can't do this mission. I need to speak with you, my child. Yes, Petrus. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. Do tell. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case, but the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual money lender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. 
Let's go back to the Saint Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him. Day. Oh, my earphones are going iffy. Give me one second. This game is so, like, it's frustrating in some parts because, um, because it hinders you at certain points and you need, it never tells you you need this special thing. Uh, let's put stuff... my shit. I don't even know if I can upgrade my shit. Well, let's try. Okay, that's done. I need mental power. Alright. Back is empty. Actually, that's nice. Going back in here, inventory. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit. Find the Scholar's Expedition Camp. All right. Let's run. Where the fuck is it then? I'm running way, way, way. Oh. A book made or organize a fight. Uh, well, at least I'm in Teleme, so I can sell my shit if I don't have enough money. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Ask about the betting. On what would we be betting? On the fights in the arena. You never heard of them. Quite a few come here and bet fortunes. And do they win? A few do. Others have less luck. But they do get the thrill either way, you see. And that's all that counts. I must be going. Next time, then. Who was I supposed to organize? Oh, it's him. Okay, so I have to go through all his options. Good day. Welcome. 
What is this arena? It's a place of great pomp and entertainment, where all manner of fights take place. Men, women, savage beasts, island monsters. People are coming from everywhere on the island to participate, or to bet. I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No, no one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah, that sounds better. You know that in order to attain supreme glory, there are a few rungs on the ladder. None of my champions will make a trip to fight against someone barely known. Even if I promise that the spectacle will be worth the journey? No one cares about promises. Prove yourself in the arena and win at least the third challenge and people will start to listen to you. Very well. We'll see each other again soon. At least you have the right attitude. That's Summit. I will leave you alone until your reputation in the arena is established. There's no point in me following your trail for days. Yes, that's wiser. It could take some time. Let me know if you need me. Of course, Petrus. Okay, so now I'm, pen I'm getting penalized for not continuing the... Um... Come on. Okay. I'm getting penalized for not finishing something that I could have finished earlier. Anyways, I'm going to finish one of the... One of the missions or whatever. So... Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Here for your greatest pleasure, our team of excellence. Once again, I thought you, he wasn't going to follow me. Public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. All right, let's do them all because I'm feeling it's gonna fucking Perfect. kill me at one point. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You've grown to love their faces. Ready to excite the crowd. I need to get going. Huh? A pity. Well, come back again. No, I want to fucking fight. Yeah, yeah. Ready to accept? Eh. I need to get going. The fuck? Huh. Ready to excite the crowd. That is I the stupidest option huh. ever.
not even making a fucking tent. Fucking jack shit. Shotgun because I don't have one. It would be a lot easier with my fucking shotgun. Oh, 
Appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Uh... Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Incredible. Who would ever have believed that our excellence would have risen so high? Okay, so those are too high. <laughs> That's going to be a dangerous thing. Maybe I'm likely to protect me in this battle.
of the arena. Now, I must say, this is the first time I've ever seen such a young team leader win the title. Allow me to give you this. The prize awarded to champions. Thank you. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. All right, so now I can do this thing. But before we do anything... Oh. Before we do anything, I need to upgrade my fucking weapons. I need to upgrade my weapons because they're shitty. They are poopsies. Like, very poopsies. Pictures are nice. They would be nice uh, desktop wallpapers. Oh yeah, also, I forgot. Uh, the last time, the last few weeks, um, I, I battled a really, really bad lower back pain and I couldn't sit for longer than five minutes. So there's a week out of the two weeks, like in, in, in addition to work, I just couldn't sit properly for a while. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I've done what you asked. Can I have my fight now? I have to admit that you've surprised me. You have technique and style, and the public does love you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer. I'm warning you. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the Arena Master. We should go and see Candy Cane so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Well, that was short-lived about. 
Oh, I got ammo. Sweet. again what do you want this time why so defensive Petrus you have a proposal to make I believe that's right I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich you know me so you also know I'm quite clever and that my ideas are always fruitful you have a reputation of being a first-class manipulator wait at least listen to our proposal. You really take me for an idiot. Gentlemen, teach them not to mess with me again. I didn't save either. Fuck. Hopefully it saved somewhere close to where I was. Go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she right. will lose her bet. Let's get rid of these money bags. <laughs> Somebody have a fucking sword that was like useful? No. Guess not. Empty a hundred containers. Uh, Aquibius. I guess I can trade it or store it for a later date. I have a very lucrative proposal for you. You know that I have to fight against the champion. Everyone knows. You were expected to lose in one minute. 
I'm well aware of that. I know my opponent is too strong for me. But let's suppose my opponent draws out the fight a bit. For the beauty of the battle, of course. I'm starting to see what you're alluding to. This fight don't interest me. The odds against you are so high, I wouldn't get much out of it. But if we make all the gamblers lose, by letting you hang in there a little longer, we could win a nice little nest egg. Organizing this will entail some costs for me. It's better to add a bonus. Without the bonus, there's no deal. If you pay me in advance, you won't be tempted to play any tricks. So, get your wallet out. We can definitely reach a deal, but we would have to renegotiate the odds. Absolutely not. You're not in a position to negotiate. You need me too much. I'd have a really good think about it if I were you. I may not be a champion, but you know I have a certain reputation in the arena. Is that a threat? <laughs> Gentlemen, teach this imbecile a lesson. Maybe in life you won't test me in this battle. Come here, cuties. That's not how I want it to go. It is what it is. How are we going to influence Cornelia's bets without Candy Cane? Have faith, my child. Let's start by searching the body. We will find a way. Candy Cane's key. A letter from the Mother Cardinal to Candy Cane. Gold coins. Alright. Letter from the Mother, mother Cardinal to Candy Cane. Candy Cane. I was told of an unprecedented fight between the legate of the congregation and a veteran of the arena. Should I take an interest in it? The odds are not very interesting at the moment, but you may not you may know something that I don't know. I expect to hear from you shortly using our usual dead drop. Be discreet even more than you usually are. I have reasons to believe I am being watched. Petrus, your prayers have been answered. This crook had a letter from Cornelia on him and a key. My child, this letter confirms that our plan may work. Cornelia is interested in your fight. She also mentioned a secret letterbox for returning the mail. This key probably opens it. If that is the case, all we have to do is slip in a letter from Candy Cane. I've got it. We'll slip a fake one in. Advising him to bet on the fact you will hold on for five minutes. Well, this letterbox is error. probably not far from here. Wait, my child. I will first write this fake letter for Cornelia. Petrus, you would make the perfect criminal. There is no light without shadow. The enlightened knows it and knows how to guide the righteous ones. All right, let's clear this, guys. Gold coin. Hmm. Anything here flashing? Nope. Okay, so we have to go that away, right? Replace Candy Cane's meal. Okay. Um. Maybe a Battles. These battles are not very challenging at this point. At least to give you um
Wait for an attack to take place in 23 hours and four hours. Okay. Um, need a place to go rest. Where is my whom? Um, camp dungeon mission of interest. Don't I have a place here? Oh, there's our day. There we go. Way I can sleep upstairs. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, let's do this again. save because I don't know what I'm getting into and I ran into issues last time so yeah let's fight some people to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena. And may the better fighter uh, win. Let's get ready to run. Holy fuck. What a Not really spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. It wasn't easy. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelius seems to do you wonders. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game. And just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moments every bit as much as I will. All right, more running. In an hour and 15 minutes, I've got almost nothing done. Except with the exception of the fighting in the arena, I do have one point which I can probably put in the vigor so I can sneak past the freaking guards in the other place that I was supposed to go to. 
Second. All right, so I have to go up. Another quad, no. Wait, that's not where was it? Where am I supposed to go? No. Why am I so far away? me go up the stairs like a gazelle. Lord de Sade. And you, Petrus, what can I do for you? We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your money lender. You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the Congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of Cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what is she talking about? Cornelia. You don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened. It's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's him. No, please. Since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Your real mother. My mother? Petrus, is this true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. I knew your mother. I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You knew that my uncle lied to me and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, 
Petra's felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation. It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. The prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little, until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. So now, um, all right, let's do that mission I finally wanted to do before. Always make this fucking mistake each and every time I pass here. There was probably one that was closer, and I'm stupid, but, yeah. Actually, I could have gone to my own fucking place, actually. I just thought about it now. Uh, yeah.
locked. Let's go. So I am here. Nope, that's not where I was. Oh, okay, I can. That works. Uh, maybe that doesn't work. No. So, yeah, we're going back down, buddies. We're going back down. We're taking the long way around. Uh, was this? Yeah, it was this. bad tonight. I haven't really saved that much <laughs> compared to other times. Journal of the Missionary Mother. Our mission is taking much no longer than anticipated. These poor savages cling to their childless beliefs and refuse to see the light that could have saved their souls. And we must show the greatest patience to convince them, one by one. Alas, this unexpected reluctance is weighing on the morale of my colleagues, and I, am, I surprised one of them as he was forcing himself on one of these children. He seemed full of remorse, and he assured me that he would not do it again, but I am convinced that he is not the only one who sinned, and that it is not the first time such a thing happened. What fools! Now I must do everything in my power to ensure that their deeds remain secret. If our order, the Mother Cardinal, ever return... Learn, uh, sorry, eh. If our order, or the Mother Cardinal, ever... Uh, learns from them. Learns of them, sorry. We will all be sent back to the continent, or even sentenced. How can these so-called religious men dare to abuse these young people? I thought that the word of the enlightened was very clear on this subject. These missionaries are... One more thing. Yes? I found a document in your belongings. The content is quite enlightening. Your missionaries have forgotten the divine teachings. Are not all forms of abuse against your religious commitments? A few missionaries did stray from the path. This is true. But our mission is too vital to let their zealous natures dissuade us. You should have never read that. Maybe in life you protect me in this down our weapons Good. now leave the region and do not return we shall not forget the manner in which you have treated us but you shall not see us here again all right uh... 
Ask for help from Cecilius, the healer of San Mateus. Yeah. Alright, so let's go back up here. It's more traveling. Traveling is great in this game. For the, the frame uh, sale. Let's see uh, if I can equip it. And I cannot. I don't have enough agility. I need an agility three. Agility four. All right. Well then, before I fucking get there, uh, take. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. No. Let's get the hell out of here. Excuse me, are you Cecilius, the famous healer? I am a healer only through the grace of the Illuminated. What can I do for you, my child? My cousin, the governor of New Serene, is in dreadful pain. Well, that's terribly sad. Was he wounded in combat? Was it during the Coin Guard's rebellion? Alas, no. He is afflicted with the Malachor, and his days are numbered. We're looking for a cure, but... Now that's a true miracle that you require. And I fear that they're extremely rare in these pagan lands. Cecilius, my friend. If there's anyone on this island capable of helping the governor, it is you. Have you not been blessed by the Illuminated? Is it not your obligation to aid our allies? Without them, who knows what would have happened to our holy city during the plot? Petrus... You always knew how to weave words to get what you want. Very good. I'll go to New Serene and try to ease the governor's pain. But do not feed on vain hopes. There are trials that we must accept to undertake with humility. A thousand thanks, Cecilius. May the Illuminated go with you, my child. There is no miracle that he cannot accomplish. I will pray that you find this cure that we need so desperately. I have not lost hope. Cecilius is an extraordinary healer. I'm certain he'll be able to at least alleviate Constantine's pain. 
I do not know your magic very well. But if it's so powerful, why would you have to come here to look for an antidote? All I'm hoping for is that he will manage to give my cousin some time and some respite while we look for an antidote. Come closer. There has to be something that's quicker, that's closer to go out than... You would figure you would go for one or the other, not for both. I don't have time for your assholes. It's annoying doing this over and over and over again. It really is annoying. But hey, it is what it is. The master hunter. Beur tir to madre, I say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? Ask him to explain the problem. The Denegad, Katasach, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Ten Lands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here, but they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. Ask about the Tenlands. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Speak about the victims. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegad, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often, and they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away, to destroy any nests that I found, but still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. The stress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. How to defeat the Tenlands? I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, 
But the only way to stop their numbers growing, there are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Hmm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one. Or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. Asked why the Tenlands are so aggressive. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. Uh, and I'm talking about the Grand Propose to help speak about the missionaries. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Denlands, do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. What do you know about the missionaries? The Mind Shakers? They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light, of demons, and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village and that we serve them as if they were Tiern. They want to make us Renaixe. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand. But the young are sometimes swayed and listen. They follow them to their Eden village. And they become their servants. Their bone is cut. Have you tried to fight them? No. But some have fought. Because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village. And the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. It sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. Look, I really need you to tell me what you know about the cause of these attacks. I regret I cannot speak words about something you would not understand. And as you say, it is only an intuition. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests. Villager number one. Good day. My name is Desarde from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Denegar asked me to help you. Any information you can give me will be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. 
What is it? What his brother looks like? Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. The disappearance of his brother. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared, where, and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. His brother's enemies. Did your brother have any enemies? No. I can't think of anyone who would plant strangle weeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. It's still a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. Ask about the Tenlands. What can you tell us about the Tenlands? They are beasts that live near water, rivers or coasts. In all our memories, only if you approach their nests do they anger and attack. But lately... Yes, Cadasak told me they attacked the villagers. Could you point me in the direction of their nest? I know where to find one, but there are certainly more. My brother should not have left the village alone. But for a while now, he does not share my fears for him. I must be leaving. All right. Villager number two. Good day. I've been sent here by your Denegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Mind Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her or to understand what has happened. Then I will tell you what I know. Sister's description. Your sister. What does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. The moment she disappeared. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the Tenlands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly, in the clearing. We find a great many berries there. The sister's enemies. Is there anyone in the village that might want to harm her? No, no, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice. 
And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think has likely happened? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the Mind Shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But you think that they might have captured her when she was outside of the village? That merits inspection. Ask about relations between the missing, missing. Was your sister fond of a young fisherman who also disappeared by any chance? They have known each other since they were little. Like all the children of the village, they have always been friends. Only friends? Yes. He defended her when the Mind Shakers wanted to take her. But she is promised to another. I couldn't care less about her reputation. An engagement can be broken. If you know anything at all... I have told you all I know. My sister is certainly wounded somewhere or taken by the Mind Shakers. Very well. Time to get on with my investigations. Tell me about the Tenlands, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Very well. I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest nearby. It is possible, because before there was never one near there. I must leave now. Here is your weapon. It has been made new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on Ormanawi than Renaitse, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great Tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair, a cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here. To attract the others and make them rage. By men. The Renaik say. But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it. Nothing more. The brother of the young fisherman told me that you do not get along. We have had arguments from time to time, but they were of no importance. This boy is too quick to anger. He does not have the calm of a good hunter of fish. And you didn't try to rid yourself of him? Of course not. None of our kind would do such a thing. I must be going. Have what it takes. Um. I 
went up there. So this is one of the nests. This is the other one. There's a third one. three okay so three is here and there's a skill altar yay okay so this is the quickest way safe because I don't know what the fuck I'm getting into and I don't even know so right now actually Let's finish this before we do anything, right? Uh, find and destroy the ten lines requires alchem alchemical preparation of elemental damage.
I thought it was a mission there. I think I'm gonna be done for tonight. Um, I know I didn't get much in terms of getting anywhere, but so I went here. Given the presence of the tendons in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from... Hello to whoever is, is watching. Hope that you're having a wonderful evening. I am about to actually call it quits. I just want to see... Dawn, the ideal moment. I must kill the dominant for destroying the
Alright, I guess I had enough. So I didn't have to make him. Which is good. So that's one thing now. Alright, so I know how to do it for next time. Alright, cool. Alright, I am done for tonight. Uh, thank you to everyone that passed by. I was just lurking. Um, there wasn't a lot of chatters, but it doesn't matter. Um, I still enjoy doing this. It was my first time streaming in two weeks, and sometimes that's a good thing. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for passing by, and hope that you guys, uh, whoever passed by, enjoyed the stream. Um, I, uh, my, you can go to aroundtable.ca to read my reviews. The last entertainment review that I did was the la review of The Last Dance with, uh, basically, um... Uh, a documentary about uh, the 1998 Chicago Bulls, their last, um, their sixth championship in seven years uh, in the 1990s. Um, it's a good one. Uh, it's a good documentary. Um, there's things that I kind of knew, some things I didn't know, which I guess the, it's the idea of a documentary. You get to learn about things. So you can go to around uh, aroundtable.ca to read that review. Uh, my last actual review, I believe, was Streets of Rage 4. Um, I haven't really reviewed anything gaming related recently, uh, just because there's nothing. I, I haven't I haven't really finished any games recently. Um, I haven't really played a lot of games, to be honest. And also, there's nothing in the gaming industry other than rumors that I really want to talk about. But I think I have an idea of what I want to do on the weekend, so check out for that. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna try and stream again tomorrow night, and uh, hopefully. Uh, we'll get somewhere in the game. Um, I don't even know where I am. I don't think I'm anywhere close to being far, but it is what it is. It's an adventure, and hopefully you guys come along for that. All right, guys, have a good one, and I shall see you next time. Ciao.